Welcome everyone, welcome. Can I have your attention please? Hello. Hi everyone and welcome to Gustavus. My name is Sean. I'm a friend of both uh, Craig and Hillary and they've asked me to make just a couple introductory announcements before we get rolling. Uh, first, like you guys already figured out, we're going to make sure we keep this path open so everybody can walk up and down. Uh, two, I would invite anybody that wants to to sit. In these, we, any, the first row is reserved, but if anybody wants to have a seat, the second two rows are open. And so uh, feel free to have a seat. Uh, they've asked me to make sure everyone uh, turns off their cell phones. And uh, also, they've asked me to ask you to be very present in the moment. moment. And with that in mind, uh, no pictures, please. They've got a very uh, skilled and talented <laughs> and uh, handsome uh, and above all humble photographer uh, for the event today. So uh, be present, enjoy the moment, uh, and uh, and welcome. Thank you, John. <laughs> yeah, and just seriously about the chair thing, the pictures look way better if they're filled up, so don't be shy. <laughs> It still might be a while. <laughs> it is Craig. Kind friends all gathered round. There's something I would say. That what brings us together here has blessed us so today. Love has made a circle that holds us all inside. The strangers are as family, and loneliness can't hide. You must give yourself to love. Love is what you're after. Open up your heart to the tears and laughter and give yourself to love. Give yourself to love. I've walked these mountains in the rain. I've learned to love the wind. I've been up before the sunrise to watch the day begin. I always knew I'd find you, but I never did know how. Like sunshine on a cloudy day, you stand before me now. You must give yourself to love. <laughs> Love is what you have. Open up your heart to the tears and laughter and give yourself to love. Give yourself to love. Give yourself to love. Give yourself to love. Kind 
kind friends all gathered round. Or something I would say. What brings us together here as the last of all Well, now this one is special. Admirers of maps and creative adventures, let's take a moment to recognize the route that has taken us here. You have skied, you have paddled, you have hiked, you have ran, you have flown, you have kited, you have ferried, you have even greyhound bust. <laughs> now you are here, standing before your community. We ask this community to join us to take a moment to admire the land we stand upon and the context for why Hillary and Craig chose this place as the start of their greatest adventure yet. Let's begin by closing our eyes and awakening our senses, acknowledging the sacred ground we stand upon. Once a place held deeply in a frozen glaciated state, and for time immemorial, home to the Huna Clinket people. Take a deep inhale. We can smell the Gulf of Alaska's robust seas, full of marine life living by the natural rhythms of changing moon and tides. Can you feel that cold breeze brush across your face? Perhaps this is the coolness of a not so distant tidewater glacier. Massive geologic forces continuously shedding ice into Upper Glacier Bay. Listen. Sounds oscillate from high rapid crows of attendant seabirds to the space between sounds. A distant silence that can quiet our busy minds and pull us into the present.
And when we open our eyes, we are reconnected to why we are here today. Craig and Hillary, you both have found your way to this moment on this land, in this community, once again by each other's sides. To an intimate ceremony with close friends and family amidst the vibrant, diverse audience of wild Alaskan country. This biologically diverse community has witnessed the tapestry of your love story from the very beginning. We humans have come together today to see you on to the next leg of your journey. The trust we have forged through years of adventure together give us the opportunity now to speak frankly and openly of our admiration for your love. So before we send you off into the wild country of marriage on life's greatest adventure, <laughs> we must acknowledge the unique contributions each of you bring to this partnership. Craig, <clears throat> the enigmatic young man at the end of the road. <laughs> An endless fountain of competence, as evidenced by his consistent diet of wild meat, perfectly cooked on a barbecue with near views of the meticulously constructed spiral staircase and far views of the Fairweather and Bear Track Mountains. Craig's choices demonstrate an unwavering commitment to living his values, living a life outside of the mainstream, devoted to his work, his community, and living close with the wild. Craig, as a friend, family, neighbor, coworker, adventure companion, we all deeply admire your selflessness, loyalty, and generosity. Although you're constantly cultivating an air of self-deprecating modesty, <laughs> reclusiveness, and healthy distrust of humanity, <laughs> your, pos your positive impact on this particular community is impossible to overstate. Your generosity after a successful hunt your love of Glacier Bay, or no, your patience for genuine engagement in the perennial Saturday morning stop and chat. <laughs> your love of Glacier Bay as evidenced by the countless hours you have spent exploring and absorbing the wilderness here. Your deeds have earned you a well-deserved place in the annals of Gustavus's saltiest characters. <laughs> History will ask us, how did such a strapping young man come to live alone where the road fades into muskeg? <laughs> what deep secrets lie in the locked chest holding his heart? <laughs> where and who is the woman possessing the key? It's Hillary. <laughs> the kind-hearted and enthusiastic adventure seeker. She met Craig while on the move ever the enthusiast and the optimizer of her social and adventure calendar. Driving through the night to ski Mount Olympus from Portland in one weekend, driving up to Ballingham for an impromptu Alpine Start Santa Claus ski at Whistler, and of course, showing up on fire to the right cabin in the woods on New Year's Eve to attend a disco party to ring in 2019. <laughs> Amidst Hillary's far-flung adventures, she has the inherent gift to pour joy and love into all the physical places and people she has touched. Aficionada of language, she connects with friends near and countries afar through meaningful conversation, thoughtful notes, and jubilant melodies. For those lucky enough to be in her aura, we can't help but feel inspired by her relentless dedication to bettering the future. Hillary. As friend, family, neighbor, coworker, and adventure companion, we all deeply admire your big heart, your spontaneity, and your devotion to social justice. Over time, she made big, full commitment leaps to the north into a life of boundless adventure potential, as well as a healthy helping of domestic duties to share. <laughs> This mix of Hillary's enthusiasm, adventurous spirit, openness to new experiences, and helpful attitude hit Craig like a thunderbolt. <laughs> Over the years, it's been truly amazing to witness your love and mutual admiration blossom into such a dynamic and attractive team. 
Hillary's extroverted enthusiasm and bias toward recreation is a perfect complement to Craig's solitary life of extreme generosity and meticulous competence. <laughs> it's clear now to all of us that Hillary unlocked Craig's heart and your whole community is now basking in the power of that love. <laughs> it's a pleasure and a joy to be near you and feel that warmth. Now I think they have a few things to say to each other. <laughs> my sweet Hilly, as you now know well, I take my time with big decisions. <laughs> I've never been much for planning beyond tomorrow, but today, my sweet Hilly, I'm elated to be standing here in this place with you and our community. I'm ready to commit to spending this wild and amazing life together. I'm confident in this decision because of these past four years and all that we have experienced together. The amazing adventures up mountains, over glaciers, and down wild rivers have been a solid foundation, a place of exciting energy, synergy, and trust building. But it's the challenges we've faced and have overcome that have brought us to this moment. We sacrificed through several years of long distance. You took a giant leap of faith in moving to Alaska. You've also put in tons of hard work learning a pretty different way of life. Outhouses, moose butchering parties, and chopping firewood isn't every gal's cup of tea. <laughs> Remember when you thought spring breakup was when I ended relationships? <laughs> and though we have many differences, you've never wavered on leaning in and growing together. This time and these experiences have built a connection I can't imagine living without. I'm thrilled to be here with you today because all that I love about you, your endless energy, intention, and planning for making life exciting, fun, and adventurous. Most days, really most moments, you are joyful, filling your environment with songs and smiles. You have an infectious warmth towards others and your commitment to consistently cherishing your friendships and community is truly inspiring. I love that you care about people and the environment so deeply, that you are committed to making this world better wherever you can. You also possess a vast number of skills that I do not, and I'm certain that makes us a great team. I'm thrilled to share and nurture this life with you, my sweet Hilly. I remember the first moment we met looking at you from across the room on the main floor of the cabin, wearing your maroon and yellow beanie with your nicely trimmed beard and your gentle smile. I immediately had a feeling that you were the much esteemed Craig Murdoch and that I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> you courted me with a perfect blend of confidence and bravery, daring to take that bolt bus after knowing me just a few days making that leap to get to know me and see if we could build something great. I soon knew I needed to act quickly so I could keep you in my life. I moved to Alaska and my happy hour conversation quickly changed from, you're going to funk night at the good foot to the root maggots ate my brassicas. <laughs> <laughs> Over the past four years, you've continued to work with me to build upon this foundation. I know the work will be a lifelong project and I can't imagine building this life with anyone else. It's hard to remember what life was like before I knew you. I never envisioned this lifestyle for myself because I didn't know such a dreamy way of life existed. You've cracked my world wide open and exposed me to a level of wildness more magical than anything I could have fathomed. Our love has grown on a foundation of trust, resilience, and compromise that has been punctuated with the breathtaking beauty and harrowing de decision making of the Alaskan wilderness. As I look back on the photos that illustrate the course of our relationship, I thought to myself, what a place to fall in love. Over the past four years, you've awed me with your generosity toward all of your loved ones. I have never met someone who gives this time, support, and physical resources like you do. Your even keel nature, steady like a skeg, keeps me grounded when my emotions are turbulent. <laughs> <laughs> anything together. Whatever I, whenever I have a new thought, you're the first person I want to tell. <laughs> and I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs>
<laughs> built a home that I don't always need to get away from on the weekends because home is away. You sometimes, you somehow have the, vi the wisdom of an 80 year old and I and know all the things about all the things. I still can't believe I found a man who hunts and fishes all of our food, brews aerated kelp love juice to keep the garden nourished, taught himself to build on YouTube, built a house, and somehow along the line also learned how to do nearly every adventure story. You are the most observant and thoughtful human I know, and I still can't believe I get to marry the most amazing person in the world. Oh. to be generous and thoughtful to each other in heart and mind. We vow to strive to turn toward each other with tenderness and respect. We vow to appreciate the regular and unremarkable moments of our day-to-day -day life, from the morning snuggle, the evening debriefs, to the moving of poop buckets, the banter, the laughter, the daily sunrise and sunset viewings. We relish the romance of collaborating in the mundane. We vow to cultivate excitement and growth in our relationship through adventuring and exploring the natural world. We vow to maintain a connection to the food that nourishes our bodies, minds, and spirits through fishing, hunting, processing, and growing food together. We vow to propel each other forward in the pursuit of healthy habits. We vow to prioritize friendship and community while striving for a healthy work-life balance. We vow to maintain growth, a growth-oriented mindset understanding our differences and challenges or learning opportunities for how to better meet each other's needs. We vow to, to love and respect, respect one another until, until death, death do us part. part. <laughs> <laughs> now we shall exchange rings. In this moment, we, your community, are honored to witness your love and play a small role in seeing you off on your journey as a married team. We know your bond will only continue to go stronger as you navigate the peaks, valleys, giant waves, avalanches, thundering glaciers, savage streams, continuous rock falls, and monumental rains of life together. We all join together today to send you on this glorious adventure with a closing quote from Dave Bone. <clears throat> he writes, but if you prefer the flower by the trail side, remember there are no trails except brown bear paths and hundreds of miles of waterways. No trails in the usual sense, but why should there be? There are beaches, moraines, snow fields, forests, coves, inlets. With two legs and a million years of experience behind us, what more is needed? Two legs and stay clear of the alder. <laughs> May the memories of this day, the love, the land, and the silence of this vast wild place stay with you forever on the rest of your journey together. You're, You're now, now married. table set up so Hill and Craig encourage you to sign the guest book there if you have any cards or gifts you want to leave feel free to leave them there and if anyone could grab a chair on their way out that'd be great we can leave it over by the Annie Mae and then family stick around for photos <laughs> we have a fly thank over. you everyone we have a flyover <laughs> <laughs>